hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i have another diy i am going to be making chocolate covered pretzel rods so follow along i hope you guys like this video okay here is what i use i bought these pretzel rods at walmart i used two containers and this made a total of four dozens i went ahead and separated all the uh, broken ones already I'm also using parchment paper and this will be perfect for when I'm letting my pretzels dry. Okay, so I use the Wilton brand candy melts in the color red and brown since I will be attempting to make a type of wine maroon color for this project, so hopefully it works. I'm also gonna need four bags of pink candy melts. And I'm also using some coconut oil. I prefer organic, but you can use any brand. Also a wine tumbler, and this will help the chocolate stay warm while dipping the pretzels. And this step is optional. I am transporting these to a birthday party, so I did purchase a foil container. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I am only pouring one bag at a time and I am melting the chocolate in 30 second increments. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of coconut oil to my chocolate, and this will make it more runny and easier for me to dip the pretzels in. Now I'm adding my second bag and I will go ahead and place it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Now that my chocolate has melted, I poured the whole two bags in my cup and I will begin dipping my pretzels. Okay, so I will continue doing this, and then once I run out of these uh, two bags, I will do the same thing with the other two, melt them again, and then pour it on my cup, and then continue on with the dipping process. Okay, so I am done dipping all my pretzels. I have let them dry now, so I will be moving on to the next step. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I am pouring only half of my red and brown candy melts into a bowl, and I will be melting these same thing, 30 second increments, and this will be the color that I will be adding on top of the pink. Okay, so now that I have melted my chocolate, I will be pouring this inside a Ziploc bag and then I will be cutting a tiny little hole on one of the corners of the bag and this will make it easier for me for when I'm drizzling this over my pretzels.
all right so there you have it i am going to let these dry and then once they are completely dry i will be placing them inside my foil containers covering them with the lid and placing them inside the fridge so that they don't melt until i take them to the birthday party all right i hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comments below what kind of diy videos you would like to see next also don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and like i always say i will be back with more videos bye